So Tesla just unveiled a prototype for their Tesla bot and its emergence has stirred the pot of controversy in a very fantastic way that I'm sure everybody expected. Responses to the unveiling range from complete shock and awe to fears that the bot will one day enslave humanity. However, to my surprise the most common reaction and the one that began trending on Twitter was the comparison of the Tesla bot to Boston Dynamics Atlas robot. What most of these tweets seem to suggest is that the Atlas robot is a far more capable and advanced robot than what we saw raise the roof on stage at AI Day 2. And while there is some credence to this statement, people are simply missing the point on this one. So today, I'm going to break down why this comparison is both inaccurate and why Tesla has effectively no competition in the humanoid robot scene. But before we get into it guys, hit the like and subscribe button to see more cool videos on science and technology. And without further ado, let's get into it. Back in 2018, Boston Dynamics uploaded a video titled Parkour Atlas, which shocked the world and showcased the amazing movement capabilities of their humanoid robot named Atlas. In this 30 second video, we can see it perform incredible feats such as running, jumping over a log, and performing strong lateral leaps up three boxes. This video, in every sense of the word, is incredible and shows the engineering genius of the team at Boston Dynamics. The insane levels of both balance and proprioception coupled with the strength of its movement capabilities makes Atlas a true engineering marvel. When I first saw this video, I was blown away and remember thinking how excited I was for the future of humanoid robots because of it. That excitement was rekindled Friday night while I was watching the unveiling of Tesla's Optimus robot and the optimism for the future only encouraged by what I saw there. What we saw with this unveiling was a lot less dramatic. We didn't see any parkour or dance routines, but what we did see was Tesla's incredible breadth of machine learning and neural nets implanted into a humanoid frame. We saw a robot much less capable at this stage than Atlas, but much smarter. So with all of that being said, to address the back and forth between Atlas and the Tesla bot nicknamed Optimus, we need to establish what Atlas is and what it isn't. Atlas is essentially a robotic frame with 28 hydraulic actuators which grant it human-like agility and speed as well as RGB cameras and depth sensors which allow it to see where it's going. So while it is an incredibly capable robot, it absolutely is not artificial intelligence. The parkour videos that you see on YouTube, while amazing, are choreographed, pre-programmed movements that are put together by the engineers at Boston Dynamics. The robots themselves did not decide to run the course or even how to run the course, it was decided for them. This is one of the key differences between the two robots and a big oversight by those comparing the two on Twitter. What's also worth noting is that Boston Dynamics has been working on Atlas for a decade. Meanwhile, Tesla has put their robot together in six months from concept. But like I said before, Atlas is an absolutely amazing and revolutionary piece of technology. But it is not a one-to-one -one comparison with the Tesla bot, nor does it try to be. It is ultimately a big R&D project that works to advance robotic movement systems in a humanoid frame while the Tesla bot is a much cheaper and generally more functional robot, aimed at replacing boring, repetitive, and dangerous human tasks. There are three key functions of the Tesla bot which I believe will make it a more promising and practical creation than that of Atlas. First, the Tesla bot's vision is both superior and more usable than that of Atlas. The Tesla bot was first conceptualized because engineers at Tesla saw the possible use of their full self-driving technology in that of a humanoid robot. In fact, the entire reason Tesla uses vision in their cars is because our world is designed for humans to navigate it using two eyes. It was possible for them to use things like LiDAR and geomapping to drive the cars, but the application is much more limited rather than general. This extremely sophisticated vision technology which has already been tried and true through the application in cars is what is now in play guiding the frame of the Tesla bot. It uses cameras to view the world and navigate it using auto labeling systems and FSD decision making neural nets. We can also see from the AI Day 2 footage that the bot is able to identify specific points on objects and is also equipped with volumetric vision. If you think about it, we're just moving from a robot on wheels to a robot on legs. So some of the components are pretty similar and some other require more heavy lifting. So for example, our computer vision neural networks um, were ported directly from autopilot to the bot's situation. We're also trying to find ways to improve those occupancy networks um, using work made on neural radiance fields to get really great volumetric uh, rendering of the bot's environments. For example, here, some machinery that the bot might have to interact with. Another interesting problem to think about is in indoor environments, mostly uh, with that sense of GPS signal, how do you get the bot to navigate to its destination? So we've been training uh, more neural networks to identify high-frequency features 
key points within the bot's camera streams and track them across frame over time as the bot navigates through its, its environment. So as you can see, the Tesla bot's vision is extremely sophisticated and shows just how well it will be able to navigate an environment such as a factory. The hard part, which is seeing and navigating the environment, is already solved. Plus, we can see that it already is capable of doing tasks such as moving packages and watering plants. Which brings me to the second key difference between Atlas and the Tesla bot, which is that the Tesla bot is a general purpose solution to boring, repetitive, and dangerous human labor. In order to achieve this objective, the bot must be mass producible and cost friendly, which Atlas is definitely not. Atlas currently isn't even for sale and would undoubtedly be extremely expensive to buy. Tesla's robot, on the other hand, will be on the market for roughly $20,000. What furthers my point here is that Tesla is ultimately one of the world's best in manufacturing technology and will likely leverage part of their Texas Gigafactory to produce the bots, until possibly one day making a bot-specific factory. There is currently no other company on the planet with ambitions to create general-purpose humanoid robots that can leverage an already amazing manufacturing system like Tesla can in order to keep the cost of production down. This is something we just don't see with Atlas purely because that is not the goal of Boston Dynamics. Their focus is more on research rather than production. Finally, the last key difference between Atlas and Optimus is one that I briefly mentioned before, and that is the genius AI brain inside of the Tesla bot. Tesla has one of the world's most powerful machine learning computers named Dojo that is currently being used to process all of the neural nets, making the FSD beta as amazing as it is. You know, a lot of people think we're like, just a car company or we make cool cars, whatever, but uh, they don't have, uh, most people have no idea that Tesla is arguably the, the leader in real world uh, AI hardware and software. Um, and that we're building uh, what is arguably the first, uh, the, the most radical computer architecture since the, the Cray-1 supercomputer. The reason this is such a big difference between Boston Dynamics and Tesla is because it represents a huge disparity in the angles each company is tackling their humanoid robots from. Boston Dynamics has started their approach by creating a phenomenal movement system and a robot that can perform parkour movements that even some humans can't do. Sure, the Tesla bot is clunky and can hardly stand up on its own at this stage, but it has one of the world's most powerful supercomputers behind it, giving it amazing real-world intelligence and allowing it to navigate its environment to almost the same level as a human. This key difference will ultimately put Tesla's robot on top in the long run, as it has the data and can make its own decisions on its movement. Given its objective parameters, it has a brain that can make its own decision and decide the best course of action to take to achieve that objective. This is simply something Atlas does not have, and given that the Tesla bot doesn't necessarily need the mobility to do a backflip, it's clear to me who the superior machine really is. So all in all, the outcry about Boston Dynamics being better than Tesla and making robots, I believe is short-sighted and ultimately comparing apples to oranges. But that's just my opinion, let me know what you think down in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more interesting science and technology videos. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.